Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Joby, and you've been listening to the Fuzzrocious Cat Demon. I should probably tell you that I don't really use distortion pedals. Number one, I am more of an amp distortion guy, and when I do use pedals to get my gain, it's normally into a slightly dirty amp, and I'm using an overdrive. I kind of prefer overdrive and fuzz to distortion. But that being said, I do have fun with distortion pedals, so let's talk about this one. Starting with the OC Demon portion. Now, I've owned several full-tone OCD pedals, bought and sold them. Some of them are great, some of them are garbage. Just depends on the version you get. And to me, this pedal really doesn't sound like an OCD to me. It has the same kind of massive woolly bottom and definitely has the same kind of volume output that you get from an OCD. But tonally, it's nowhere near as smooth as an OCD. It's either woolly or brittle. And uh, yeah, it's not my favorite part of this pedal. Now hold on just a second before you start typing what I know you're already thinking. And I know that Fuzzrocious wasn't trying to make a direct copy of the OCD. And I'm very glad that he wasn't because we live in a world of far too many fucking clone pedals. Really, I was just hoping that it was going to be more of an overdrive than a distortion. But I must tell you that this really was my very first playthrough of this pedal, and I'm sure if I spent another week with it, I could find the sweet spots that I really enjoyed. So what you're hearing is kind of just straight off the top of my head. Now, the cattail portion of this pedal, I absolutely loved. Being from the Kalamazoo, Michigan area and being near to Proco, I have always been a fan of rat pedals. And this is just like a perfect rat, really. It's everything good about a rat, plus the ability to adjust the clipping on your low end and a high end separately. I'm not sure that I've seen that on another pedal, and if you have, please let me know in the comments below. I really, really dig that. I really dig that controllability. I'll tell you a lot of pedals could benefit from that feature. The three-way toggle to choose between silicone diodes, no diodes, and LEDs as diodes is also very neat, but honestly, you're probably going to pick one and stick with it. For the purpose of this demo, I mostly played through the silicone diodes, but I really dig the no diode sound probably the best. It's like the lowest gain, highest volume rat sound you've ever heard. Really fucking cool. But anyway, you guys, that's it. That's all I have to say about this pedal. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave me a like. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. Peace. Take it easy.